Welcome to the Greyhound News Network. This is Pope TV. And please stand for the Pledge of the Flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. And now for a moment of silence. Good morning, Pope High School, and welcome to the Greyhound News Network. I'm Kyla. And I'm Sam. And this is Pope TV. FBLA meeting Thursday at 745 in room 315. We will be designing t-shirts, developing promotional items, and working on business achievement awards. Don't miss the meeting. You know there will be donuts. If you're interested in joining the Pope Science Olympiad team but could not make the informational meeting, you can pick up an application outside of room 119. Applications are due by Friday. All boys interested in playing lacrosse in the spring must fill out the registration form found on Boys Lacrosse page at PopeAthletics.com. The registration must be completed by Friday. Any sophomores or juniors interested in the 2018 Governor's Honors Program, please meet in room 201 for a brief meeting on Thursday, September 12th at 7.45. See Ms. Dahlberg for any questions. And now to Nick and Ali with the sports. This is Nick and Ali with the sports. The football team showed positive progress last Friday night. We should be clicking on all cylinders by the start of the region schedule. This week's Walton Hay Week. Support the cause as we play our arch rival for the home opener on Friday night. Last week, the fast pitch softball team run World Centennial on Tuesday, 19-0. And Johns Creek, 8-0 on Wednesday. And the girls continue to show relentless intensity as they defeated Dunwoody, 7-5 in the eight innings on Thursday. Sydney Sheehan had a heroic hit in the eighth to score two runs. The ladies are at home tonight versus Chattahoochee. This is a big region matchup, so come up to the racetrack tonight at 7 o'clock. It's always a party of fun and domination. The ladies also play at home tomorrow in a non-region matchup with Creekview. And they're at Northview on Thursday. Good luck, girls. Congratulations to the volleyball team on their three wins last week over Kel, Sequoia, and Creekview. The ladies are playing at Cambridge tonight against the Bears and Dunwoody. Good luck, ladies. Spike someone in the face. The boys' cross-country team plays second on Saturday at the Bob Lasso Classic in Whitesburg, Georgia. This Friday night, they'll be attending the Poe football game, and they'll return to action September 9th for the Cobb County Championship. Good luck, runners. Friday is Neon Orange out in support of Peyton Goley, so everyone wear their orange in support. This has been Nick and Ali in the morning. Back to you guys. Thank you, guys. It's not too late to join Habitat for Humanity. The next meeting is September 14th at 740 in the theater. Membership forms are available in the Media Center. See Mrs. Holland or Mrs. Zonin if you have any questions. Do you want to help children in need around the world? Join UNICEF at our first meeting will be Wednesday at 745 in room 112. The tutoring club will be holding a meeting for all tutors and potential tutors during AO in Thursday in the Learning Commons. We need tutors. If you have time available, please consider joining. See Mrs. Zonin with any questions. The Latino magician told his audience that he would disappear on the count of three. He said one, two, and disappeared without a trace. Two blondes went to Disneyland. The sign said Disney left. They cried and went home. What do you call a man with a rubber toe? What? Rubber toe. <laughs> what? <laughs> no. Okay, go on. I went to a concert. It was 45 cents. It was 50 cent featuring Nickelback. What happens when you put Nutella on salmon? What? You get salmonella. Chuck Norris's calendar goes from March 31st to April 2nd. No one fools Chuck Norris. <laughs> what kind of bathing suit do vegans wear? What? It's a zucchini. <laughs> Two muffins are in the oven. Middle of July, steaming hot. One muffin says to the other, Geez, it's really starting to get hot in here. The other muffin says, Oh my god, it's a talking muffin! <laughs> <laughs> what 
What did the Mexican fire marshal call his twin sons? Bullet. Jose Bullet. and Jose B. <laughs> what do you call a cow that can't produce milk? What? A milk dud. <laughs> you know what's funny? What? My GPA. <laughs> Thank you for watching the Greyhound News Network. Have, Have a, a great day, day Greyhounds. Greyhounds.